Good evening. Hello, class of 2026 and transfer students. I am Whitney Soule, Vice Provost and Dean of Admissions. Two things I love about my job are sending your admit letters and welcoming you to Penn. So on behalf of everybody in admissions and the university, welcome Quakers. Your time at Penn will inspire you as you craft the independence of your adulthood. And your time here will challenge you. And some of those challenges will be created for you. And some of them you're going to choose because you find them inspiring. And sometimes these challenges will sort of gently mix together. And sometimes they're going to be in a blender, high speed. Nobody escapes that blender. So we can excel with challenge, but we need three things. We need community, responsibility, and awareness. I'm a runner. Where are my students run Philly style are here? All right, where are the rest of the runners? And that is anybody who has put on a pair of shoes and moved faster than walking. All right, excellent. I think that was everyone. All right, I'm not fast. I lack form. I definitely neglect core work. I know it's healthy, but I am not always motivated. So sometimes I sign up for races. Not that I plan to really race race, but I do it so that I create the discipline of preparing. I ran the Philadelphia Marathon last November. <laughs> I was new to Philadelphia last summer and new to Penn, and I felt kind of alone. And to run, you can just put your shoes on and go, alone. But instead, I joined the Philly Runners Club, which is a come as you are, we like you for showing up, whatever pace you want to run kind of group. So I met with them on Saturdays at 8 AM in front of museum steps, and together we ran six miles then 10, then 16, and so on. People at Penn invited me to go running, and they became my friends. They introduced me to their friends, and so on. This one interest, not even a talent, connected me to so many different people. It was a community that built around me and with me. And this will happen for you at Penn too. And I know this because it has already been happening for you. Your application revealed your connections to so many people through your faith, activities, academics, jobs, teams, so many other outlets. Your community at Penn will include your faculty, your roommates, your friends, and this community will survive a debate over the best flavor of water ice, raspberry. And you will be responsible for your choices. There were days that felt too hot, too wet, too tired, just too much of something to do the running. But if I wanted to cover 26.2 miles in one go, I couldn't just think about doing it. I had to commit to the doing of it. And you all know how to commit, because you all did the work to prepare you for Penn. And there will be times when you're unsure. You'll want somebody else to make it easier for you. What do you do? The responsibility is when you decide what adjustments you will need to make. And this will be incredibly freeing. It also takes a lot of practice. You will also need to practice awareness. Running distance can be meditative, sort of the rhythm of your feet, your breath, the swing of your arms. But sometimes that rhythm escalates the intensity, and pound out your thoughts foot by foot. And running uphill, you might find yourself saying, oh, no, 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 to something really important. And then you might over-apply your confidence in your downhill relief. So the decisions are best made on the straightaways between your hills. 
You will have moments at Penn when you're frustrated and when things are not coming together the way that you want. And you'll have moments, moments at Penn when you notice what you've learned and you'll be inspired and proud and feel invincible. So be aware of whether you're feeling your uphill or your downhill and where you can find a straightaway when you need to catch some clarity. You have so much ahead of you here at Penn. Build your community of people. Take responsibility for what you choose to do and to not do. Stay aware of how you feel along the way because this is your own amazing distance run and I am so happy that you are here at Penn to take it on one step at a time. <laughs>